Hey everyone, what's going on? Brian Balon here, and I'm kind of trying to start a, a vlog of some sort, you know, and I think that it's going to be kind of fun because I got a lot of things happening, and why not? I'm going to try it out. I'm going to put myself out there, and you get what you get. So today I've got a lot of things planned. Actually, recently I had put my car on sale. It's a Mustang GT 2016 with performance package. It's got a, it's basically fully loaded for the performance package. It doesn't have the heated and cool seats, but it's got the Recaro seats, leather, and it doesn't have active cruise control because it's a manual, but pretty like light new condition basically. I you know, babied uh, 36 ish thousand miles. So if you're interested, check out my Facebook or contact me for details on that. Also, another car is being put on sale, a Range Rover Evoque 2013 with 40 something thousand miles. I don't know exactly how many miles it has because I can't figure out how to see it. And, uh, you know, I've been playing with the menu. I was trying to, you know, turn it on, just power on, but but uh, no engine on. And for some reason, I couldn't figure it out. So I'm probably going to look on the forums on that, check it out, get the mileage, post that. Hopefully today, I still need to get it uh, car washed as well. So I'm going to be running doing that. Um, you know, I know uh, in the real estate world, another thing, in the real estate world, in the entrepreneur world, it's go, 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 positive energy, positive mindsets, but got to share and be real about the defeats too. Uh, I did, I signed up for the Phoenix Summit Challenge. It was seven peaks worth, uh, seven hikes in a day, and I, I just didn't finish it. I went 500 yards on the first one, Pueslo Peak, which not steep at all. Um, you know, not, it's not supposed to be that hard or rigorous, but I passed out within 500 yards. First time ever. And it's not like I'm, you know, super, you know, old or anything like that. I'm 29, so that shouldn't be happening. And it did. Um, so something's wrong. Something's up. Uh, you know, it could have just be something as simple as, you know, granted, I didn't train for this thing. Um, but uh, I shouldn't. It shouldn't have happened anyway, because one, I've never passed out. Two, I have a lot of experience doing other things, uh, marathons, uh, half triathlons, a half Ironman. So I've done different things, and so just checking it out. Got a ultrasound yesterday, which is kind of weird. Um, you know, just listening. They had audio on the ultrasound too, so they got to hear my heartbeat and stuff. And I got to hear it too because they had the speakers on. Just weird stuff. Hopefully everything's okay. I'm seeing a cardiologist today, and that's why I bring up that. And so there's there's a lot of things going on. Oh, and also there's another home that recently my my parents have that um, we're remodeling as well. I'm going to be part of that, and the house is pretty pretty bad shape it's a it's a pretty massive project but I'm excited for that one because I'll be working with my dad and I'm hiring two guys somewhat part-time for the for the December time frame and we're going to fix it uh, together so that should be fun first time really hiring actually I guess we had a family friend help us out with one of the homes but um, but this one it would be fun because uh, we have some guys coming on board young excited guys to make things happen so Looking forward to that, but uh, I'm going to take you along my day, going to vlog throughout the day, different things, and um, yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm excited for this. You know, I, I know I've been in the, you know, in, in, in dark mode and just haven't been posting things. Things kind of, kind of got somewhat busy with uh, the real estate side, actually doing things for real estate, which has been exciting. Um, and uh, yeah, so we'll go from there and I'll catch you guys in a bit. If you could just please excuse all the junk back there, I'm trying to figure out our lives in the garage. But this bike is for sale, going for seven thousand dollars right now. Uh, I have it on Craigslist, and I think I have it on Facebook. But yeah, CBR six hundred double R twenty fifteen. And if you like fast, like I mean, you like going fast, uh, this is the way to go. A motorcycle. So I love it. Uh, put 37, 38,000 miles on, or not 38, 3,700, 3,800 miles on it. And what a dream to ride. I do not want to let her go, but uh, it is time. So, you know, if you're interested in this motorcycle, feel free to message me. Or if you know somebody that is, would appreciate you mentioning it. All right, I'm going to start this up, put it in the garage. Just want to do a quick video of what it's like to get in this thing and turn it on. And I gotta tell you, that's one of my more favorite moments of the car is when you're turning it on from a cold start and the exhaust just rumbles. Kind of wakes up the neighborhood. It's kind of why I don't like to leave early 
or come home late because it's really loud and I have to kind of crawl back to the you know the driveway so here it is starting So I decided just to get a car wash because I'm too lazy and it's overcast outside, it might rain. So I just want to get the pictures, want to get it clean for that. So this will look like it will rain, but don't want to chance it because yeah, I don't want to waste an hour washing something and then it might end up being usable later. So I'm going on this retreat this weekend. I'll be Friday in the evening, four o'clock probably, 3.30, four o'clock. Maybe, hopefully sooner actually. Probably should leave around noon. So we just miss all the traffic. People that are trying to get out of town for the weekend. Kind of like pre-Christmas holiday kind of stuff. But I decided about a month and a half, it's probably six weeks ago, seven weeks ago from today, I decided I'm gonna have a retreat. I'm gonna invite the guys from church to come out. And right now, we have 12 confirmed. It was supposed to be low key, so it is. You know, 12 people or so, 12 guys coming up there, uh, rented a cabin. And, uh, you know, we don't even have enough beds for everybody, but uh, I'm gonna get on my air mattress, my XPED mattress, which I absolutely love. In fact, I had slept on it for like two and a half to three months straight on the on like a wooden floor and on like various people's homes when I was traveling to the U.S. last year. So, you know, that thing is basically, I mean, arguably about as comfortable as my bed. And I've got a Lisa, you know, the ones that, that Lisa bed that you can buy wholesale, I guess, online since wholesale prices. <laughs> but the Lisa, I love, don't get me wrong, but... The x is unmatched for air mattress. I mean, it's, for some, for my old bed, is way more comfortable than my old bed. So, yeah, highly recommend it if you don't have it. Camping, especially, uh, car camping, it is my go-to item of choice. You get some golden sleep on that thing. But we're doing a retreat. We're gonna stay at a cabin. We've got Friday night, all of Saturday, and then Sunday morning. We're gonna have church up there together, some guys. Um, yeah, and can have food up there, time together, just a chance to spend some focused time with each other. These are guys that I know more than the average. They know me more than the average. Some of them have been roommates. Some of them are close friends. So really looking forward to a getaway there uh, and really a lot of uh, spiritual time, um, just focused spiritual time with those guys to help myself as well. Hopefully I get something out of it. I, I'm looking forward to that. Um, I guess the, the way to get something out of something is how much you give. And that's kind of my, my focus there. I want to be a giver when I'm going up there. Somebody who engages, somebody who's really hosting, asking a lot of questions. So yeah, Pine. Pine is the location. Apparently it's 90 minutes away from Phoenix. So not really far out, not like an out-of-state kind of thing, but enough to where it feels like we're getting away, which was the goal, the vision. And the title of the tree we came up with is Band of Brothers. Focus being just to, to forge the relationships between us to uh, really be solid in just being the best men for God that we can be. 
that's something I value and that's something one of my convictions that I really look to grow and to become somebody that's more and more like Jesus basically so yeah and it's major big actually big to major part of my life and one of the most important things in my life uh, in fact it's not the most important although my life doesn't always reflect that um, it is something that uh, I've been doing for almost 10 years you know, I've been a Christian for almost 10 years and yeah so it's a treat hopefully it will be a very very powerful time to connect and with God and people.